Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I've got another Fond of Autumn project for you. This is my feature on my blog this week, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube to hop back over to my blog and check out my other projects and videos. Um, this is a little treat. Uh, I think it would be a great little table favor maybe um, for your Thanksgiving dinner. Um, or just, you know, a fun treat to give to friends or family. Um, it uses the Pretty Pillow Box die. And um, I'm gonna show you how to assemble that. I'm also gonna show you how to color this beautiful image right here. All right, well, let's get started with our coloring. Um, I have my stamp set up on my Stamparatus, and I'm gonna use Stampin' Blends to color it. So we're gonna use Memento Black. If you are watercoloring this, you wanna use Stays On. And if you're using Stampin' Blends, you want to use Memento Black. All right, put lots of pressure on it, and let's see how we did. Yeah, looks good. Maybe one more. Those flowers look a little light. With your Stamparatus, you can re-ink and set it right back down, and it's going to be exactly where it is supposed to be. Awesome. All right, I'm also going to stamp a, an acorn standalone acorn by itself over there. All right, now let's color. This is a big image, so it's going to take us a little while. I'll do a little bit of it, and then I'll fast forward the video um, so you can watch it faster. We're going to use Old Olive for our leaves, and I'm going to take my light Old Olive, and I'm going to use the bullet tip end. I use the bullet tip end because I feel like I have more control of it, um, the brush tip in is great for big spaces. Um, and here where I want to make sure I stay in the lines, I uh, am going to use that bullet tip in. All right, so I'm going to give each leaf a full coating of Old Olive Light. Okay? And then I'm going to take my Old Olive Dark and I'm going to outline these veins. Okay, like that. And then you can take your light and just kind of blend that out from the center, like that. All right, now for the smaller leaves, I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I'm gonna add just a little bit of dark underneath each little vein like that. All right, we'll do the same thing for these leaves. Wherever a leaf is overlapping another leaf, that's gonna be a shadow, so you wanna add a little bit of dark there. All right, now let's do our flowers. I'm using Calypso Coral for the flowers, and I'm gonna color the whole thing in light Calypso Coral first. These flowers could be any color really that you want. I chose Calypso Coral because I am using Calypso Coral patterned designer series paper and I want them to coordinate. All right, and then I'm gonna take my Calypso Coral light and add color coming from the outside or the inside center. And then I'm also gonna kind of do a ring where all those little dots are. And then I'm gonna just take that light and I'm gonna blend it out towards the outside of each petal. All right, for the acorns, I'm gonna use my light crumb cake for the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna take um, soft suede light. Let's make sure I have light, yeah. And I'm gonna do the tops. Now, another thing that you can do with your acorns to add a little more um, realistic look is take your dark crumb cake and follow that line right there and add just a little shadow line under each cap like that. All right. And then the berries, we're going to use light blackberry bliss to color those in. All right. I'm going to finish coloring the image. I'm going to speed up the video and then we'll come back when I'm done. Look at how far we travel. 
Look at how much we've done Truth is one person can matter Just look what ideas can become The journey to our destination Is what we remember today Go oh, celebrate The difference that we How far we have come With what each of us has created We see there is power in one The journey is not always easy But with every step along the way Go oh, celebrate There's one other thing that I'm going to add to these um, images, and that's Wink of Stella. That's going to give it a little bit of shimmer and kind of add a little more interest. And you don't have to do a lot. I'm just going to put it kind of on the bigger leaves and then on the flowers and then the little um, berries as well. All right, so with your die set, you've got a couple of options. Here it is. Um, this, this die right here will cut out the whole image. Um, this die right here is going to cut out the whole image, but it's going to break it up into smaller pieces. And that's what we want to do because, um, we're going to make several of these table favors and, um, we can use the pieces, probably get two or three table favors out of each image. Now, what I like to do when I have a lot of coloring to do is stamp a bunch of them grab my stamp and blends turn on a movie and start coloring i find it very relaxing and for for images like this that are going to take a while um, when you're watching a good movie it goes by really fast i do that quite a bit around here all right so now we've cut out our acorn it had its own little die and then we've got these pieces it almost just kind of cuts it up like a um like a puzzle which is really cool Okay, now ahead of time, I already cut our pretty pillow box out of craft cardstock. And I'm gonna give you some tips. This craft cardstock is really stiff um, compared to our other cardstock. And I find that it doesn't bend quite like I want it to bend. So I like to take my bone folder and just kind of break it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna give all of the the uh, score lines that the die created a nice run with my bone folder now for these right here you kind of have to look real carefully and go around and pinch them as you go the craft just i don't know it behaves a little bit differently than regular cardstock so you have to tell it who's boss and really form it into how you want it, okay? All right, so once you've got that, you're gonna fold these over the sides like that, okay? And what I'm gonna do is take some tear and tape, and I'm gonna put tear and tape on the inside of those front. Um, flats and I like to use my take your pick tool to get those backings off like that and this one I'm going to put another piece because I feel like I didn't put a whole lot there okay now 
So you're gonna just very carefully line those up and press them in place. Using your bone folder to break that cardstock down to make it a little more pliable is very, very helpful. All right, and there's your cute little pillow box. Now I am filling mine with some of these Jelly Belly fall flavored jelly beans. Um, you can also put pre-wrapped candy in here. Um, you know, play around. I don't have any fall candy yet. I only have Halloween candy right now. So play around with your fall candy and uh, see what fits in there. All right, so I have a piece of um, Gingham Cottage designer series paper, and I'm gonna put some adhesive on one end. Whoops, we got a jelly bean falling out. If you guys hadn't been watching, I would have eaten it. <laughs> All right, now wrap it around. This You wanna be able to just slide it off. So don't make it too tight, but you don't want those jelly beans to fall out either, okay? So there we go. Now the other one, I've got another one over here. I'm gonna use um, the Rustic Harvest DSP. I love this paper. This is beautiful, kind of a classy looking fall paper. Wrap that one around. Okay, so now we're gonna use two different ribbons. I'm gonna use um, our natural finish ribbon and our gold shimmer ribbon. And I'm gonna, let's see, I'm just gonna guesstimate here. I hate wasting ribbons, so let's not do that. All right, let's see, we're gonna wrap them like this. I need a little bit shorter. All right, and then cut like that. All right. And now we're just gonna bring them around over here. And let's see, do I have my, I don't have my, what I wanna use. So let's use a clothespin to hold those down, okay? And then take your linen thread. Let's get that straight. And we're gonna tie that like that. I need to pull it a little bit tighter. Okay, come on, ribbon. Let's make it real tight like that. And we'll tie our linen thread. There we go. I'm gonna tie it in a knot just to be safe. All right, now I can take that off. And tie that like that. All right, now you can even kind of pull it tighter like that. Let's let's trim these up a little bit. Whoops, my scissors aren't doing so well today. All right, so there we've got that. Now I have cut out some labels ahead of time. Um, let's use the round one or the oval. This is from the uh, All That Dies from He's the Man Sweet. And we'll just stamp the thank you in early espresso. Now grab your dimensionals and we're gonna kind of sandwich that ribbon like that. And I'm gonna grab this one, put that there. And then we'll put another dimensional here. You know, let's do two. and put that there. And then I've got this other acorn somewhere right here. And we'll put that one kind of like over here like this. All right, so there's our first one. Now let's do that again um, with this other one. Let's see how much ribbon we need. A little bit more. Snip, snip. Grab our clothespin. Um, what I was looking for earlier are those reverse tweezers. Those work really well holding your um, ribbon like that. Also, you can set something heavy on the ends. I do that a lot if you have a block a clear block or even maybe one of your ink pads. 
so that you can hopefully not have as much trouble as I'm having <laughs> getting these tied. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. That Calypso Coral Gingham with the natural finished ribbon and the shimmer gold. Gorgeous. All right. Take that and we'll trim these down. There we go. Now this time I'm using a label from the Pretty Pillow Box dies and we're gonna stamp the Autumn Wishes right there in the middle. Now we're gonna use this one and I can't remember, I think, yeah, I think I had to cut it apart just right down the center like that. And then that way you can kind of up, you know, space it out a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll put some dimensionals. Let's do three dimensionals like that. And then we'll grab them like that. All right, now I'm gonna grab one of these also, and we're gonna adhere this back here as well. Let's put that like that. All right, now I'm gonna layer it up with some more dimensionals, kind of hold everything in place. And we'll put that right there. And there we have it. Look, I have, I'm halfway there with my Thanksgiving table favors. Aren't they beautiful, you guys? All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. There is a blog post that has three Fond of Autumn projects and it has a PDF that looks like this with your, with three, with a supply list and measurements for all three projects. All right, everybody, happy fall and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, bye-bye.